Der Angriff Steiner ist nicht erfolgt. Laurel. 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 Das war ein Befehl! Der Angriff Steiners war ein Befehl! Shit. Rise and shine, motherfuckers. I am your host, Stimulator, and this is the fucking news. Uh, this is my message to NT. <gasps> Y'all just went to our houses, slapped flyers on everybody's door, all of our neighbors, <laughs> trying to turn our neighbors on us. These days, it's hard to be a Nazi. Cause you had a bad day, you take it one down, you sing a sad song. And for Nazis here on Turtle Island, sheep keeps going from bad to fucking worse. With May being a particularly bad month so far. We're gonna see how many punches it takes to stop him from being a Nazi and then we're gonna tweet it out. All across the internet, these fuckers websites have been getting shut the fuck down. From Richard Spencer's fashy news consortium, Outright.com, to the website of the psychotic neo-Nazi paramilitary group Atom Waffle. Fearing they might be the next victims of the Soros-funded GoDaddy Jews that secretly run the World Wide Web, Planada's most popular Nazi podcast, This Hour Has 88 Minutes, hosted by Axe in the Deep and League of the North, has taken its content offline as a preemptive security measure. Stop all the downloading! One supporter even talked about this on the Right Stuff forums, claiming, I am not expecting them to dox Axe for a podcast for fuck's sake. But this piss poor attempt at security culture came too little too late as the proto hipsters from Vice News, Docs League of the North, were calibrated to pull only the most exquisite flavors from the coffee. Turns out League's real name is Thomas White, I kid you not, a failed barista from Thunder Bay, Ontario, who was trying to bankroll the Whitey Ethno State by slinging Nazi coffee on the side. What can I get started for you today? I need milk right now! Popular outright blog The Right Stuff, which hosts the Daily Shoah, has also removed its public forum, replacing it with a private members-only page that will make it harder to attract new followers, leaving many impressionable millennials to look elsewhere for obscure subcultures to join. I'm not really white power, man. I just came here for the fun. Fuck. Oh, my niggas really gang bang, took that damn slang. Grab a body, do the same thing, let your nuts hang. And it's not just online that Nazis are feeling the heat. Earlier this month, an active duty member of the U.S. Marine Corps, Basilios Pistolis, was outed by ProPublica and Frontline as being a member of Atom Waffle. Next, in the town of Brastown, North Carolina, a Nazi husband and wife duo, Christopher and Carissa Pack, were doxxed by members of Asheville Anti-Racism over their ties to the now defunct Traditionalist Workers Party. That's embarrassing. And over in the land of Putin, earlier this month, anti-fascist research ninjas napped themselves a big one when they outed the notorious neo-Nazi propagandist and Daily Stormer second-in-command Zyga a.k.a. Gabriel Soye Chapu. For years, Zyga has been one of the most influential Nazis in North America. He's been a fucking prolific writer churning out hundreds of articles and two full-length fucking books on neo-Nazi theory, plus an unpublished Nazi-themed Harlequin romance novel, Blitzkrieg of the Passion. He also served as an active strategist and regional organizer, tying together members of local neo-Nazi, alt-right, and white identitarian movements while managing to keep his real identity a closely guarded secret. For a while anyway, but while his internet fan base has held Zyga as an Aryan ubermensch, at the end of the day he just turned out to be some dirty Quebecois hipster from Rosemont with a greasy fucked up mustache. Dein mustache is helt kaputt for fun. Då får du avbraken. Avbraken? Man ser inte klok ut. Soon after he was out at posters of Zyga and threatening graffiti started going up in his hood and he and his online Nazi buddy started to freak the fuck out. Andrew Anglin, who was the digital Reichmaster of the popular neo-Nazi website The Daily Stormer, placed wannabe Hitler to Zyga's wannabe Goebbels, posted a call out for money to help his Nazi homie Gustav his way to rural Quebec in order to escape the violent subhuman Antifa who are now hunting for his scalp. And I want my scalps! This desperate plea for funds brought in around 300 bucks? Dang, the motherfucking scrotum toad pulled in 80 times that much. The scrotum toad. 
the world's first fully functional human scrotum knapsack. Two other Montreal area Nazis, Vincent Belanger Mercure and Sean Bouvet McDonald's, who were both docked last year after traveling with Zyga down to the Unite the Right clusterfuck in Charlottesville, Virginia, have also been feeling the pinch, with Bouvet McDonald getting a first hand lesson in the incredible bonding power of wheat paste. Last Saturday, a crowd of anti fascists and anti racists attempted to pay a visit to the home of Zyga, but were blocked by Montreal swinists. During the march, Peeps also stopped to point out the home address of another local Nazi, Philippe Gendron, and squared off with his wannabe biker buddies from Soldiers of Odin. We're not gangs, we're a social club. We're a bunch of friends that we started and created a Disney family and welcome everybody to come in and, uh, and be a part of it. This march took place exactly one week after another anti-Nazi demo in the gentrifying neighborhood of Park X. Around 200 people swore in the condominium where, on May Day, comrades had spotted a piece of shit waving a swastika flag on the roof of his building. Yep, the Nazi wing of the far right is definitely in retreat and the sure as fuck worth celebrating. But even as these sick hiling knuckle fuckers keep being chased back into their holes, it's important to remain vigilant and to prepare ourselves for the very real possibility that the same policies and processes that have been used by tech companies to blacklist these Nazi pieces of shit may very well be used against anarchists next. It is therefore crucial that anti-fascists seize on the momentum of these recent victories and keep our eyes on the fucking prize. <laughs> And that's all the fucking news for today. As always, don't forget to support my ass at sub.media slash donate. Or buy a t-shirt or a coffee mug with my face on it at sub.media slash gear. And remember to follow me on all your mass surveillance and mind control platforms. Just search for Stimulator. Hasta la pasta, compañeras.